Okay, I'm going to replace the timing belt. It's a dual overhead cam 2.0, 98 neon. Uh, you can see the tensioner there. I haven't taken the old belt off yet, but I wanted to line up my timing marks. And I wanted to show you on the cams how funky these look to line them up. Now you can barely see the marks there, but they're like straight across from each other. And uh, before I pull the belt off, I'm going to take some touch-up paint and mark it. Just because I know that it's hard to see sometimes, kind of working in poor lighting conditions. So put a mark there, one right there, there. That makes it much, much better. So now I can see where I'm starting from. Move up on that a little bit. So you can see the marks straight across from each other. Okay, and then on the, uh, the tensioner, just down below here, I'm going to put my grenade pin back in that sucker before I take the belt off. Now the car's got like 130,000 miles on it, but I notice it has a Napa belt on it. Okay, you're saying, well, it's got a Napa belt, so it's been replaced at one time or another. Yeah, that's fine and dandy, cool and groovy, but I don't know how many miles are on this belt. So to play it safe, I'm going to put a new belt on it. I'm going to put a pin on my tensioner and I'll be right back. Okay, I pulled the old belt off, got the new belt on there, gave it two rotations, and this is where my tongue marks line up. I still have the grenade pin in, but I'm about to pull that out. And one thing you can do before you put the timing covers on is you can start up and run it, see how it runs. I only do it for a very short period of time, but just make sure that everything runs okay. I'll put it back together. It should run like a champ. Okay, what started out as a simple timing belt replacement turned into 12 or 16 bent valves. I'm just going to show you what happened here. This is a brand new timing belt, has less than 100 miles on it. And as you can see, it is very unhappy. Well, what happened? Well, I had an issue. As you can see from this, we lost our balls in more ways than one. But it actually got so hot that it fused the inside race to the outside race. This is the idler above the water pump. And this is the idler by the tensioner. So my deductions are that the tensioner was too tight. Got too tight and overloaded the bearings on the idlers. They went out, they smoked, and the belt got angry. When the belt got angry, it ripped out. And when it ripped, well, in conclusion, you have to decide, you know, is it worth it to spend extra money to get the idlers? You know, after this little fiasco, I think I will be putting idlers on everything I put a timing belt on. Just be a good practice. Uh, 16, belt, 16 valves are a pain to change. As you can see, they are really bent up. I also had to put a new head gasket in too, and a few other things, seals and valve cover gasket and such. So, you know, ask yourself, do I want to spend $150 to $200, or do I want to spend like $40 or $50 and just get the pulleys and do it the right way?